Well, as long as I can remember, I had been interested in art, and I had been trying my hand at different things, drawing and painting and uh, carving, and you know, I tried pretty much everything. And while I enjoyed them, and I had some ability at, at many of them, none of them really clicked. And I think it was when I discovered contemporary automata that it all sort of clicked for me. I'm like, oh, I can put them all together. And, and give them motion and learn a little bit about mechanics. Automata, you know, it basically means self-moving. And so it's typically associated with a clockwork mechanism. My work is more of a contemporary form of automata. There is a hand crank in which, you know, you, you actually turn the mechanism and make, bring the thing to life that way. You can hear the mechanism working. In this case, it sort of worked out to my advantage the mechanism that I've incorporated to make the dog bark in a sort of sharp and snapping way also works out to coincide with when his mouth opens, so it creates something of a barking effect. You run this cable down your back and then down your sleeve, so it's pretty much completely hidden. And whenever you feel like it, you can squeeze the handle and out pops the monster. Hopefully he looks relatively angry. This is a, a prototype that I'm working on, a rather advanced mechanical prototype uh, that represents a carnival sideshow scene. When it's finished, I'll have these you know, painted in full color, um, but I'll give it a crank so you can get a feel for it. There's a whole uh, second scene going on. So this is the Air Lofts building, which was created as a work-live space uh, in Lowell, one of the very first. And so I was very attracted in, in, the, in the building as a whole, and then I had the opportunity to come and view this unit, and I saw this, which is the original walk-in vault from when this was a patent medicine company. This is the original door, probably weighs five or six hundred pounds. And if we open up the second inner door, this is the workshop where the magic happens. I received an email from the people who are producing Hugo, and they sent a film crew of four from New York City from a production company who was tasked with creating the uh, extras that were to be on the DVD release. And they asked me if I would be willing to be filmed uh, for a short history of Automata. And they came here to Lowell and filmed an interview with me right here in my unit. Automata are not just a black box that you'll never understand. It's something that represents a high degree of human ingenuity, but something that you might be able to figure out for yourself and cause us to wonder again. I don't think much about capital A art, but I do know why I like what I do.